The Miami Dolphins will deploy a running back by committee approach in 2021, and running back Salvan Ahmed has shown he deserves to be a significant factor of that committee. Before starting training camp, running back, Miles Gaskin was looked at as the starting running back. Gaskin will also have a significant role in the running back rotation, and deservedly so, but free agent running back Malcolm Brown got the start in the first preseason game. Brown did not show much, and I would not be surprised to see Miami sign a veteran running back that is cut. Gaskin had a nice 14-yard run and ended the day with four carries for 19 yards. It was unclear if Gaskin or Brown did enough to show they should be the alpha in the room, but one thing was clear. Salvan Ahmed has earned a significant role in Miami's offense. Ahmed, an undrafted free agent that was waived by the San Francisco 49ers, was claimed by the Dolphins before being waived by Miami and signing on their practice squad. The former Washington Huskies running back sat on the practice squad until he was promoted to the active roster before Week 9. In Week 9, Ahmed had seven carries for 38 yards and showed he deserved some more touches. Ahmed received 21 carries in Week 10, his first career NFL start, and he scored his first career touchdown. Ahmed only had 43 rushing yards in his second career start, but he added five catches for 31 yards. Ahmed would miss three games with a shoulder injury until he had the best game of his young NFL career. In Week 15, Ahmed gashed the Patriots' defense for 122 yards and a score. To make his 100-yard performance more impressive, Ahmed was the first Dolphins running back to rush for 100 or more yards in two years. Miami clearly hit on the undrafted free agent, but Ahmed has become the forgotten man in the running back rotation this offseason. However, Ahmed has made sure no one forgets about him any longer, as he has had a dominant training camp and preseason. I listed Ahmed as one of the three players whose stock has gone up this offseason, and his stock only continues to grow. Ahmed has shown that he can be Miami's pass-catching running back and make big plays out of the backfield. Omar Kelly of the Sun Sentinel gave Ahmed a glowing review, saying, Salvan Ahmed is close to Reggie Bush level, Dolphins Reggie Bush, not USC Reggie Bush, as a pass catcher, receiving weapon. He scores often in that role. Joe Shad of the Palm Beach Post also had some strong words for Ahmed's impressive preseason, saying, Miles Gaskin drafters be warned. Ahmed is dynamic. In the first preseason game, Ahmed showcased his dynamic skill set when he wheeled out of the backfield, and backup quarterback Jacoby Brissett found him for a 23-yard touchdown. The Miami Dolphins' Twitter account also shared a great clip of Ahmed scoring on a bomb in practice, and it has been reported that Ahmed keeps making plays catching the ball. Whether fans like to admit it or not, the Dolphins and head coach Brian Flores have done their best to work within the Patriot way. The Patriots are notorious for having a running back by committee, and they always have a running back that can catch the ball out of the backfield. It has been James White for years now, and it looks like Ahmed has shown he can be the James White of the Dolphins' offense. I believe Ahmed may be a better runner than White, so he has a chance to have an extremely productive year in 2021. In the first preseason game, Ahmed also popped off a nice 20-yard run. That means Ahmed had two plays of 20 or more yards, highlighting his big play ability. If the Dolphins are wise, they will ensure that Ahmed doesn't get lost in the running back by committee approach. Ahmed has shown and proven that he has earned a significant role in the Miami Dolphins' backfield this season.